Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Vampire. It's a, uh, well, I think this is actually made by the Life is Strange people, as strange as that is. Though I guess they did make, um, Remember Me before that, so I guess it's not that weird. Uh, but it's, uh, it's an action RPG about vampires. Or vampire doctors. Well, you play as a vampire doctor. Game difficulty. In this game, difficulty is tied to your actions. The more lives you take, something. Gotcha. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet. Awaken from the harshness, and be born once more. Oh, that's just a mass grave. Oh, that's real problematic. Alright, well, it wants us to go the other way, so I'm gonna go this way. It looks like a dead end. Well, that's okay. Dead ends mean nothing to me. Jonathan, a newly newly christened vampire doctor. What am I standing on? What the? I can't tell, but it feels like the modeling on that is real weird. Either that or I'm, like, freakishly tall. I'm not sure. Well, we could be freakishly tall. I want to play a game like that at some point where the main character is just, like, uncomfortably tall compared to the rest of the environment. Uh, let's see. So am I playing this on keyboard or controller? This is controller for now. I might try keyboard and mouse, depending on how the controls go. But this is... Geez, that's a really cool stylistic thing. Grayscale with red for blood. I tried doing this in a Fallout challenge at one point, and it was awesome. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to do... Well, I don't know. If it's if this is just straight-up action RPG, uh-oh. Thirsty. So thirsty. Nope. Oh, hard pass. Hard pass. See, oh, come on. Come on, invisible walls. Well, I am sorry, lady. I don't think I have a choice in this matter. Wow. I really actually kind of wish there was just a second option I could wander off. Because I feel kind of bad about this. Oh, 
Oh, she's his wife, or girlfriend, or sister, or mother. Let me explain! These patrols are after me! Stupid beast! No! No! Don't shoot! This is this apparently is max speed. This is slow. If I was. I need to get out of here! If I was worried for my life, I would be running a little bit faster than a than a slow jog. This can't be happening. There's one of those vermin. No, please stop. I mean you no harm. I I seriously have no speed faster than this. What's going on? <laughs> I do oh, like the Mary. style for this game. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? Okay, so melee no, attack. I can defend myself. So we've got a stamina bar. Ooh, the UI is small. Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Can I... I cannot take his gun. Alright. You know, for Who being on... Stupid beast! For being on Ultra... Oh. Okay. Sorry. Now, do I get my HP back slowly? It doesn't look like I recover health. So I guess that's right out. Okay. Yeah, people watching this live, tell me if this is a bit loud. It's hard to tell. It's very hard to... That's very hard to have. No, please, stop! You can try to shoot me. It won't work. I'm going to be back here. Wow, this is very souls inspired. But that's okay, actually. What do you want? Okay, it's not too loud for you guys. That's good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like you could probably do this with keyboard and mouse. Though I will probably stick with the sticks, just because this is too Souls-like for me to, uh, to want to try anything else. Okay. Yeah, every time I start a new game, it's always just like, is the audio balance correct? I, I can't tell. I always try and make the player voices much, much louder than anything else. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the audio, like the, the sound effects and the music overpowering it. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Please, 
Listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? W what is this all about? Ah! Ah! What in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah! of the job. Ah! Ah! Just, just leave me. Ah! 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 <clears throat> the sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. Oh. Certain elements like fire will deal aggravated damage that reduces your maximum health gauge. Okay, so getting hit by fire earlier was why I didn't recover the health. That's what does the red line. Interesting. So I will recover some health, but not all of it. Stay I out of the sun. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! See, now can I climb? Is there any platforming or is this a linear thing? Oh, that man. This man has some kind of fire thing. Okay. I need to find shelter. That you do. Okay. How's the frame rate? Looks like it's fine. Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. If this game doesn't look very good comparatively, I, uh, you know, like if you look too closely at all of it, it's like, yeah, that's, that's not great. Even his face is kind of eh. The lip sync is kind of bad. But I really like the style they've gone with. gone with. This game has a lot of style, which is great. Fire and sun. New collectible. Leeches do not fear the sun. Wait, do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flame or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good, really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it. And when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Pruin Leader. Oh, that's neat. Whoa, that was weird. It's kind of a bleak way to start a game, though. You guys are correct. Uh, it's straight up murking your sister. I mean, who knows? She might come back as a vampire, too. I was kind of hoping it would be one of those where we didn't take all the blood, but uh, apparently it was enough to knock her out. This person... Zzz. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that face. Oh, this is what happens when you take turbo meth. Wait, this one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. It's impossible. <laughs> I 
this is what happens when you use jet too much. Yeah, in a world without radiation to back you up and turn you in. Well, I guess no, you turn into a ghoul. Then you use all the uh, all the jet you want. Yeah, the movement is kind of weird and jerky too. There's there's not a whole lot of transition between uh, stop and go. Like you immediately start running. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there's anything else. I do actually appreciate that it is uh, quick. I'm just kind of surprised. There's no sprint button. It's either just like stop or fast. Usually with these games, you've got kind of like medium slow and then GTFO button. much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. So I should probably give some uh, background for this character. I know almost nothing about him, but I do know that he's a doctor. And uh, this is like 1912 London. And we're, we were trying to cure the flu before we got vamped. And I suppose, I could be wrong about this, I suppose I'm going to be trying to cure the flu, uh, as a vamp. We'll see how it goes. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. <laughs> Battle Doctor? All right. No, it never got easy. A little heavy-handed. Okay, so we've got a used revolver. Details. Fire rate, reload time, magazine. Stun. A reliable surface pistol used by British troops as their standard firearm. I might have gotten the time wrong. This could be like 1921 or something. It says so on the Steam page. If somebody wants to double-check this one for me. Okay, so we're a veteran from World War I that served as a surgeon before he got vamped. He was trying to cure the Spanish Plague, which I believe is the flu. Okay, so I got the year wrong. We're probably in 19... We're in the 1920s, not the 1910s. Anyway, 15th of October, bad sleep. Becky coughed all night, and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. Some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th of October. I talked to the men with a mechanical shuffle. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th of October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. Took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made... A soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes, and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th of October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow. I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st of October. The men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night, as if they were attacked. 
Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago, but Becky... She refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? 22nd of October. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I just smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd of October. I cannot sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help, begging me to let her in. But I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It would not be long. I pray God will end it soon. 24th of October. I was so hungry. I tried to go out downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving. Just following me around into the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face. But she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th of October. That was as silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. Okay, so this is 1918. So the war just ended. Okay. Oh, that works. Uh, let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Unfortunately, the sun's going down around here. And for how kind of dim this game is, uh, the glare on my computer screen is actually going to make this a little bit more... More of an inconvenience than I thought. Not a big deal. Wanda, are you playing another cult game? I can't help it! They're all coming out at the same time. It's a problem. So, yeah, that's probably Becky? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I guess we go out this door. The sun yeah. is high. I cannot leave now. Oh. Well then, scratch that. Maybe we go upstairs and lie down for a while. Find a chair that isn't... Covered in bodies, maybe? Uh... Yeah, probably bed? Bed. But yeah, I wouldn't exactly say this is a cult game, this but it is a vampire sense. game. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. So be it. Rational thinking only. Can I not shoot myself? Or are we just going to sit here for a while and then find out we can't die? I'm... I'm curious what happens if we just sit here for a little while. Like, you think... If there was a, a not-shoot-self... Option that probably would have gone away. <laughs> yeah, this is showing his healing abilities. I guess so. Yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck shooting ourselves. That's a weird. That's a weird sentence to say. <laughs> Single player Russian roulette looks dull. <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely a lot more predictable.
This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh. Oh, hello. Evolution. Hideout beds will allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Autophagy. So, you drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Oh, and it's got a tree to it too. So, the vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh nerve and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful, and this is sure to surprise any unwary, unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they are more vulnerable than you think. Well. Oh, I still have some left over to spend on other things. Not that, though. So, two, 250 healing. Okay, an additional boost on your health regen. Versus a trade instant health for gaining greater regeneration. I see. So it looks like the only differences really are just like one gives you health over time. Okay, you have enough X XP to unlock an aggressive skill. Pick one. So claws, close range strike that'll cut through all living creatures in front of you. You throw a spear made of blood. You which can pass through enemies in front of you. Or Shadow Mist, place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet, or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. I feel like Claws might be... better. Yeah, we do have Shadow Mist. Oh, it doesn't cost blood, though. Maybe all of them are blood, though. Huh. I could try Shadow Mist. We will already have a melee weapon. Sure. So the vampire concentrates shadows around their prey and make them explode after a countdown. This explosion will injure anything in range with needle-like living spears. Vampires often use this ability to wipe out groups of enemies from a distance. They think they can challenge us with their tools, but no one can defeat the shadows. Sure, why not? Yeah, Shadow and Blood. Well, it's like a damage system. I don't know. It would be nice if I could try these out in like a test bed or something. But I'm sure we'll get more EXP as we go along. And honestly, I'm probably going to unlock all of these. because voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning. Oi! Come out, you coward! It's locked. They're fucking beasts. I like the fact that it's, um... They call my character a leech. I think that's really cool. Okay, so I also have this. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing Y. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Okay, so I've got a stake and a machete. That is one shiny-ass machete. Yeah, Bloodborne this ain't. But that's okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else particularly of any interest in here. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. 
I wonder how much there is to explore here. Oh, stun. Press Y to use your stake and inflict stun damage. Die, vermin! There's one of them vermin! Well, that's awkward. This is awkward. Okay. Press A to bite an enemy. Biting an enemy provides you with blood to use skills and also refills your health gauge. There's a strength. A strength okay. I never knew I had. So I could use a vampire skill if I wanted to. What was that? Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I probably had to... Over there. I probably had to, uh... Oh, this shouldn't this be possible. Okay, I'm out of stamina. The other guy doesn't have a pistol, so I want to go for him. Oh. Every sinew, every fiber of my being is a fire. Oh. There we go. Fighting time. I kind of understand how this works. Oh. So it's kind of hard to, uh, suck this guy's blood. I think you have to, you have to hit them once or twice with the stake. Nope. It's like three times or something like that. It's considerable. Nope, it's like once or twice. Maybe it's the bar underneath his HP like or something. Child learning the limits of my body. Okay. I should probably sit up in my chair. I am way too... Ooh. There's a third guy. Oh. He is a... He is a considerably beefier dude than the previous one. We're going to be hearing a lot of grunting here. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Oh. There's also this whole area. Oh. I wonder if I could have actually um, just bypassed this whole thing. Now, I could go back in, but I don't think I've got the keys. So it does look like I'm going to be able to explore most of this. Yeah, I wonder how much of this game is uh, is meant to be played non-lethally. I'm going to be kind of mad if this turns out to be one of those games where it's like, you could have not fought anybody if you knew what you were doing. Bad ending for you. I get the feeling it's going to be one of those. Well, if we find that out, if somebody can confirm that for me at some point, um, I will probably just, I don't know, just watch the good ending on YouTube later. That seems to be usually what happens when I get the bad ending because I was a bad guy or something. I don't know. We'll see. I usually try and go for the mostly good route, but if it's like, bypass all gameplay mechanics to be a good guy, it's like, oh, okay. Like, uh, God, I hate just saying Undertale whenever these things happen, but Undertale had a really good, like, good pacifist route where the gameplay was, you know, meant for it. Join the ranks. Your king and country needs you. Join the British ranks. Help the brave lads storm the front. Dev said a pacifist play is possible. Ah! Your king and country needs you to join... Okay, we've already, we've already seen that. And... Your king and country need you. Join thee and help. Thank. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Wait, I can eat rats? I can't believe I'm doing this. That's interesting. You can decide if you bite specific characters. Like if you had a choice or not to bite Mary. And certain characters can be spared. It's locked, all right. Okay. Yeah, I'm mostly con confused about the whole... Uh, the vampire hunters and stuff. If you can avoid the... Uh, we'll see. Because I don't want this to be one of those where I'm just, like, constantly... The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I don't want to just totally bypass gameplay for the sake of getting the good ending. Because that always drives me a little bit nutty. We'll see. This is Vampire the Masquerade. I've heard a lot of comparisons. Uh, interestingly enough, I've actually also heard that, uh... Oh, shoot. 
Who is it? Uh, the people in charge of Stellaris, was it? Paradox? I think they're the ones that own the Vampire the Masquerade games. Oh, I would love it if uh, Obsidian made a Vampire the Masquerade sequel. That would be amazing. What is this? More rats? Well, unfortunately, I don't think I have much of a use for fighting rats at this point. Nothing over there. Kind of dark. We'll see. What will London have to say to me? I don't know if you have to care about the hunters. Yeah, we'll see. I might I might just end up being a bad guy. And we'll I just so many questions unanswered. Watch the video on YouTube later. Yeah, to bring up the Undertale one, it was like, yeah, you more or less got the full gameplay experience with major differences. But it was a complete game being the good person. It was like in a lot of these games, it's just like, nope, you have to be super sneaky. Thank. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Okay, so we have blood scents. Hey, I remember this from the E3 trailer, walking around here, except for I had a coat on. So this is probably where the guy got killed. Oh, we'll look around. Let's see. Let's see. Let's say you had a choice to bite your best friend or not. That would affect the norming. Not, uh, the ending, not normal combat. That's good. I prefer when games do that as opposed to the just the like neener neener you didn't avoid all combat and it's like what? I had that problem in uh, Dishonored. I got the good ending, but it didn't feel very good. I was just like I spent this entire game just kind of hiding. Something dire must have come about. It wasn't terrible, but it just felt less satisfying getting to that end and just being like, well, I guess I was just kind of a ghost. I mean, it's cool when there's tools for it. It's locked. I wonder when we're gonna get keys for all these. I like the idea of this being super open world, uh, but like within a really tight constraint. Uh, I don't usually there is no like. One in sight. I don't usually like big open worlds where it's just like this area is empty. But seeing all these big locked or all these locked doors excites me. Um, I'm a huge fan of Metroidvanias. I really enjoy. There's no one in. I will return later. Oh, that's funny. Uh, we're a vampire. We can't enter a dwelling unless invited. Oh, that's cool. But, you know, I I, I love the idea of uh, 3D Metroidvanias, but there aren't that many that really qualify. There's a number that kind of get in there, but I mean, like, um, Dark Souls 1 kind of qualifies. Life is saved by efficient medical aid, and a blow is struck at the... Of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make a difference. Let's see, this game does not have stealth. I believe it was intended, but that's why the delay happened and you change it completely. I mean, it, that makes sense. I don't really like s stealth mechanics when they're shoehorned in. It has to be like a core part of the game. And sometimes you can just straight up abuse stealth mechanics in games. Sucks. Let's see, is this a triple A game? No, this is a double A game. Uh this is made by the people of Life and Life is Strange, so it's kind of a smaller studio, though they probably had a really huge budget from what I know of it. Join the Royal Fleet today. Would you like to know more? Ask your nearest recruiting off uh recruitment office. Yeah, it does get a little bit hiccupy here and there, but eh. 
I'm mostly just always worried that my uh, my recording setup is going to screw me out of a playthrough. Especially a playthrough that I like. But yeah, I, I actually really like AA games like this because they tend to be a little bit... They feel a little bit more fresh and interesting. I mean, some AAA games can be fresh and interesting, but it, there's kind of been this feeling of canidness lately. A new hideout is available in the district. Check your map. Oh, I? Here, hideout. Custom marker. Okay, so it's up that direction. I know I'm supposed to be tracking a dude, but I assume there's no real... Okay. There's people over there. I want to figure out this whole hideout business first. We have, like, no EXP. What is this? Oh, that's, that's just a rat. How do I get in here? Where has everyone gone? What do you mean a new hideout is available? I we might have to actually uh finish this area off. Oh nope, never mind. That's how we get in here. I wonder if you can fast travel between them. Oh, keep out. Hideout, you just found a new hideout. Here you can spend your EXP while resting or craft items at the workbench. Alright, so kinda of the usual. Let's check the workbench. I assume I have nothing to work with. So craft medicine. Oh, on a workbench you can craft medical treatments to heal six citizens, serums to boost yourself, and weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. So, uh, let's see. We can make none of these. Treatment for sepsis, fatigue, and an anemia. Looks like there's a decent amount of weapons. One-handed, two-handed, off-handed, and firearms. Neat. Uh, and you can just straight up upgrade them. Requires... Oh, increase stun or enhance handling. I'd probably do stun points. Unfortunately, we're going to need quite a lot of these these things before we can even hope to upgrade that. So that's out. And I don't think I have anything else. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to be looking at UI for a bit. So we've got... Autophagy, these... Uh, ultimate. That'll be interesting. It's inventory, collectibles, is... Oh! Main quest. Citizen menu. Interesting. So there's only so many citizens here in each of these zones. Mesmerized level. Oh, so I can, like, uh, mind control them. Okay, and local investigations. I want to see the level up tree again, but I guess that's out for at least a little while. Uh, is there anything? Nope. There is nothing downstairs. So we're going to have to explore around for a while before I can do anything. Whoop. Boop, that lighting. Oh, that lighting is not good. Flickering bulb bulbs are uh, not my f not my favorite. Oh, and you know what? There's probably no falling damage in this game, so I probably don't have to worry about it. Okay. Well, the blood leads this way, so I should probably actually do. So we have several unknown people in this bar. There's a lot of blood that just went straight through. A little life. Are they stupid Welcome, or something? To the Turk Wars I've never even been to India. My God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the Turquoise Turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. Been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. 
<laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. So just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? I can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. A convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. I blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. If you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. There's got to be something can be done to get out of this bullshit. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, i best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. Sorry for talking to everybody. I just figured I would. So somebody had said there was gun parts somewhere. Oh, was that back in my, um... Was that back in the safe house? I should just run as far away from this place as I can. Okay, well, we should probably go talk to the guy and then go looking for gun parts. Fortunately, oh, I wonder... Oh, this is hello. no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. 
They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I mean you no harm. Sayeth the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With... Anyone. Oh. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. And who might you be? I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them, biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Well, that was weird. <laughs>